One X Robotics has just unveiled a breakthrough that could redefine the future of autonomous humanoid systems. Introducing the One X World Model, or One X WM, not just another simulation tool, and certainly not a passive video model like OpenAI's Sora or Google DeepMind's Vio. While those models excel at generating realistic visuals from text or image prompts, One X WM goes several levels deeper. This is not entertainment. It's intelligent foresight. A predictive, action-aware, real-time simulation environment where AI-powered robots can think, act, and learn. Welcome back, everyone. Alfie here, and you're watching the AI Nexus. Today, we're diving into a landmark advancement. 1X Robotics introduces predictive AI engine for humanoids. Is this the future of embodied intelligence? Let's break it down. Here's the bottom line. The world model is a digital twin of the real world that predicts the future consequences of a robot's actions. This deep generative neural network allows us to compress that lifetime into an instant. The 1X world model tackles the complexity of the real world by learning directly from thousands of hours of robot interaction captured from raw sensory data. This enables us to model complex physical interactions, such as the grasping of delicate objects, collisions between rigid bodies, and the deformation of objects when manipulated, giving our model a firm understanding of the physics of the world around us. 1XWM allows a robot's AI to act inside a fully simulated environment. It doesn't just passively watch what might happen. It actively performs actions, predicts the consequences of those actions, and visually renders the outcomes in real time. That's right. This thing generates video not just from text or prompts, but from robot behavior itself. The robot can literally test an idea in its mind, and the model shows what would happen. Frame by frame. Even better? It estimates whether or not the task would succeed based on the action taken. Why is this such a big deal? Because in the world of robotics, real-world testing is expensive, slow, and limited. You want to test your robot in 100 different rooms with different lighting, furniture layouts, obstacles, and conditions? Good luck building that many test environments. But with 1XWM, you can simulate them all, instantly. It's a scalable, controllable, interactive sandbox where robots can learn and improve without ever risking a fall or needing physical hardware. This isn't some far-off vision of the future. It's happening now. Developers at 1X can already drop their humanoid robot NEO into this simulated world and let it run through thousands of task variations. Grabbing a cup, opening a door, navigating around furniture, all of that can be practiced virtually. And the best part? The robot can evaluate how likely it is to succeed before even trying it in the real world. That means fewer crashes, smarter movement, and much faster learning cycles. And let's be clear, this is a generative model. That means every frame you see from it isn't just a playback. It's dynamically created based on what the robot does. It's not just replaying a stored animation. If the robot moves differently, the scene changes accordingly. If it adjusts its arm, walks faster, or changes course, the predicted video updates in real time. This is a level of control and responsiveness that typical video models don't have. Sora and Veo look amazing, sure, but they're essentially visualizers. One XWM is an interactive thinker. And while it's not 100 perfect yet, that's not the point. Right now, it achieves about 70% alignment with real-world outcomes, and that's already proving incredibly valuable. Because even with a bit of noise or inaccuracy, it still allows developers to compare different robotic policies, evaluate strategies, and make better choices without needing real-world repetition. Plus, every time more data is added, the model improves. Its realism gets sharper, its predictions more accurate, and its usefulness grows exponentially. Now imagine what happens when this world model becomes the default training ground for humanoid robots. Instead of building one prototype and walking it through thousands of hours of physical testing, you create the AI brain, drop it into 1XWM, and let it run simulations at scale. It's like giving your robot a mental rehearsal room. Athletes visualize their performance. Pilots train in flight simulators. And now robots can do the same, thousands of times per hour. But it doesn't stop at training. This kind of predictive simulation opens the door to something much bigger, synthetic data generation at scale. Think about that for a second. 
One of the biggest bottlenecks in AI development is data. You need tons of it, and collecting real-world data is slow and expensive. But with 1xWM, you can generate that data synthetically. Want a million examples of a robot picking up a cup in different lighting conditions? Simulate them. Want a hundred variations of walking across a slippery floor with different obstacle placements? Done. The implications here go far beyond just robotics. This is the kind of modeling that could redefine how we build AI agents of all kinds. Because what 1X has created is not just a training simulator. It's the start of a true reasoning engine. An AI that can mentally simulate multiple outcomes, analyze them, and then make an optimized decision based on probability and visual evidence. That's the leap from reaction to foresight, from programmed behavior to autonomous planning. And this isn't just theoretical. 1X is already integrating this world model with their humanoid robot Neo. That means Neo can now make smarter decisions by thinking ahead inside a virtual version of reality. It can test what will happen before taking an action. That's like having intuition. And that kind of intuitive reasoning, when paired with physical capabilities, is exactly what we need to bring robots into the real world safely and efficiently. Think about a real world deployment. You've got a robot working in a warehouse, or maybe assisting in a hospital. Conditions change, people move, items shift. With traditional robotics, those variables often break things. But with a predictive world model running behind the scenes, your robot can handle change better. It can rehearse before it reacts. That leads to smoother, more human-like adaptation. And that's exactly what's needed if we want robots to truly coexist in human environments. Even the notion of failure changes here. In traditional robotics, failure is expensive, whether that's broken hardware, wasted time, or physical risk. But inside a virtual world model, failure is just information. It's fuel for learning. And with every failed prediction, the model sharpens. This cycle of simulate, act, assess, improve is a blueprint for fast, efficient, and safe robot development. And let's zoom out even further. This is a major signal that we're entering the era of embodied AI. AI systems that don't just live in the cloud, but that exist in real or simulated bodies, making decisions in real or simulated worlds. The age of text-only models is giving way to a generation of AI that sees, moves, interacts, and learns through physical or virtually physical experience. The 1X world model is one of the clearest, most practical steps in that direction. What makes it even more impressive is how well it integrates across tasks. You're not limited to just one kind of motion or behavior. The same model can be used for fine motor tasks like grasping, as well as gross motor skills like walking or turning. And because the video frames are generated as a function of the robot's action trajectory, you can simulate both successes and failures to optimize performance over time. So, where does this go next? As the model becomes more refined, expect it to move beyond just simulation. It could evolve into a co-pilot for real-world deployment. A system where your robot is constantly running quick mental predictions before each move, adjusting its behavior dynamically in real time. You won't even see it happening, but behind the scenes, the robot will be thinking through multiple futures and choosing the best one to act on. That's when you know we've crossed into a new era. The 1X world model isn't just a tool, it's a philosophy. It says that the best way to make robots smarter isn't to throw them at the real world and hope they learn. It's to give them the ability to think first, to imagine, to simulate, and only then, to act. That's exactly how humans operate. We mentally play out scenarios, we anticipate, we avoid mistakes by thinking ahead. Now robots can do the same. And if that's not the closest thing to AI predicting the future, I don't know what is. So the next time you see a humanoid robot moving smoothly, navigating an unpredictable environment, or performing complex tasks with precision, Remember, it might not be reacting on the fly. It might be using a virtual version of the world, rehearsing every move in advance, silently predicting the outcome of each action. That's the power of the 1X world model. And in many ways, it's the beginning of something far bigger. Because we're not just building smarter robots, we're building intelligent systems that can think before they act. 
And that's a level of cognition that nudges us one step closer to true general intelligence. What 1x is doing with predictive simulation is impressive, but it's just one piece of a much bigger puzzle. Because at GTC Paris, Jensen Huang laid out a vision that scales this idea to a whole new level, literally to one billion robots. Humanoid robotics, he declared, is going to be one of the largest industries ever. And then came the real bombshell. The idea that there will be one billion robots in the world is, in his words, a very sensible thing. That one statement might be the most important thing said at any AI conference this year. Because if Jensen is right, and given his track record, he very well might be, we're looking at the beginning of a new industrial era. Not just the rise of smart machines, but a full-blown age of robotic intelligence walking, working, and living among us. Now, if you're sitting there thinking, a billion robots? Really? That sounds like sci-fi nonsense. Here's the thing, it's not sci-fi anymore. It's economics, it's infrastructure, it's happening. Let's unpack exactly what Jensen meant, why his vision actually makes sense, and what it tells us about where AI, robotics, and our society are heading. First, let's talk about the setting. GTC, Paris wasn't some low-key event. This was a major global stage, full of engineers, researchers, startup founders, and world-leading tech companies. NVIDIA doesn't use events like this to make vague predictions. They use them to signal where they're going and to rally the entire industry in that direction. When Jensen took the stage, everyone expected updates on GPUs, cloud platforms, and maybe a few announcements about new partnerships. But what they got was a window into a radically different future, one where intelligent physical machines become part of daily life. To make that future more tangible, Jensen was joined on stage by a small robot developed by Disney. Not a mechanical arm or some corporate prototype, but a character, a physical AI with charm and personality. This wasn't just a cute moment, it was a statement. AI isn't staying in the cloud anymore. It's stepping into the real world with eyes, hands, legs, and voices. According to Jensen, humanoid robots aren't just a cool concept or an engineering challenge. They're inevitable. Think about it this way. Today, the world runs on billions of digital agents. Phones, smart speakers, autonomous software, and those agents are doing incredible work, from helping us navigate cities to answering questions to managing energy grids. So the natural next step is giving these agents bodies, letting them interact with the physical world. Walk through it, move things, help people, learn from their surroundings. And once that becomes practical and affordable, the explosion in demand will be unstoppable. Jensen emphasized that the rise of physical AI will trigger a massive surge in what's called inference workloads. That's the part of AI where the model actually runs in real time, making decisions, responding to stimuli, and interacting with humans and environments. It's what happens when a robot avoids a collision, reaches for a cup, or understands a spoken command. Training is important, but it happens in massive data centers, often once. Inference is what happens every second of every day out in the real world. And the more robots we deploy, the more that inference load skyrockets. So when you think about one billion robots, you're not just thinking about hardware. You're thinking about a billion real-time AI agents constantly perceiving, computing, adapting, and executing. That's a level of demand the world has never seen before. And that's exactly what NVIDIA is preparing for. This is why Jensen's statement isn't a wild guess. It's part of a much larger play. NVIDIA isn't trying to become a robot manufacturer. They're trying to be the backbone of embodied intelligence. The silicon, the software, the simulation tools, and the cloud infrastructure that powers this new age. And that strategy is already in motion. NVIDIA's Isaac platform is being used by robotics developers all over the world. It provides simulation environments, training data sets, low latency control stacks, and GPU optimized code for physical AI. From startups to industrial giants, the robotics world is increasingly building on top of NVIDIA's architecture. Jensen also highlighted how Europe, specifically, is going to play a major role in this transformation. 
He believes the amount of AI infrastructure being deployed in Europe will increase tenfold over the next few years. That's a massive leap, and it shows that the shift to physical AI is truly global. Why Europe? For one, it has aging populations, labor shortages, and a strong industrial base. That combination makes it a prime location for humanoid robots to be tested, deployed, and adopted at scale. From logistics centers to hospitals to elder care facilities, the need for physical AI is becoming urgent. But it's not just Europe. This trend is happening everywhere. In the US, humanoid robots are already being piloted in warehouses and manufacturing lines. In China, robotics companies are racing to deploy agile humanoid systems in real-world scenarios. In South Korea and Japan, there's been years of investment into service and care robots. We're watching the early stages of a global robotics arms race. And here's where things get even more interesting. Jensen isn't just projecting based on theory. He's looking at the actual progress being made in robotics in real time. Today's humanoid robots are already walking, navigating, manipulating objects, and performing tasks that used to require human dexterity. Whether it's Tesla's Optimus folding laundry, Figure 01 carrying out pick-and-place operations, or Sanctuary AI's robot interacting with retail tools, we're already seeing the capabilities catch up to the vision. These machines are improving monthly, not yearly. They're being upgraded with better vision, faster reflexes, smoother movements, and more generalized skill sets. And behind almost all of them? NVIDIA chips, NVIDIA training tools, and NVIDIA inference platforms. So when Jensen says that humanoid robotics could be one of the largest industries in the world, he's not dreaming. He's describing what NVIDIA is actively building toward. It's like the early days of the PC boom, or the birth of the smartphone era. Only this time, the device doesn't sit in your pocket. It walks beside you. It learns. It helps. It works. Now here's where this gets a little heavy. A world with one billion robots isn't just a technological revolution. It's a societal one. This changes how we think about labor, about productivity, about identity. What happens when intelligent machines become as common as cars or phones? How does that reshape the workplace, the home, and the city? Will robots become personal assistants, caregivers, construction workers, chefs, security guards? Will they replace jobs or complement them? Will they be trusted companions or eerie machines we never fully accept? These are questions we'll need to answer, Tastil, because this isn't a future that's 50 years away. According to Jensen's roadmap and the progress we're seeing from robotics companies today, we could start seeing tens of millions of robots in circulation by the end of this decade. And from there, scaling up to hundreds of millions, maybe even that billion mark, becomes not just possible, but likely. The infrastructure is coming online. The models are being trained. The hardware is getting cheaper. The public is getting used to the idea. The early deployments are already working. And the business case is becoming irresistible. One billion robots. It sounds absurd, but so did one billion smartphones. Or one billion people on the internet. Or one billion connected devices. History has shown that once exponential adoption begins, it moves faster than anyone expects. Jensen Huang didn't just predict the future in Paris. He issued a challenge to developers, to companies, to governments, and to the public. Get ready. The world of embodied AI is arriving, and it will be bigger, faster, and more transformative than anything we've seen before. Humanoid robotics isn't coming. It's already here, and it's scaling. So next time you see a walking robot in a factory, or a robotic assistant at a care home, or a bipedal machine delivering packages down the street, just remember, that's not a prototype. That's the beginning of the billion.